Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I'm going to do another spiral Dutch pour. So I recently did these. I did a square canvas um, with blues and turquoises, and then I did a round canvas with some pinks and some greens. Um, my gut feeling is that I just prefer the round on the square canvas. Um, I'm not quite as happy with the composition of this because I think it's round on a round. I like the round on the square. So with that in mind, I've got a brand new colour scheme and I'm going to go bigger. I think the reason I like the square is because you've got the edges and you've got the corners. So you actually get to see more rings. So I'm going to take it up a step. I'm going to go with a 50 centimetre square canvas um, and just have some fun. A whole new colour scheme. Um, just see see what I get. So let me show you the colours I've got. So here are my colours. When it comes to it, I might not use them all, um, but the main colours I wanted to use were these two. So these are leftovers. So I did a pour um, a while ago, and this is what I scraped off my worktop, and it's just the most beautiful pale sparkly purple. So I'm going to use that as a base colour, and then I've also got just a little bit of a darker sparkly purple, so I'm going to use that. Um, and then I'm also going to add, I've got some Amsterdam colours here. So bronze, Venetian rose, permanent blue, violet and white. Rawdon Lang Nickel Magenta and then Pebio Studio Acrylics, iridescent gold and iridescent red blue. Um, they're all mixed with flood fluoratrol and water. So I'll put the recipe in the description for you. As I said, I'm using a 50 centimetre square canvas. So the last one was 40 centimetres. So this is a reasonable chunk bigger. Um, I've got, if I show you what I, how my, I've set up here, I've got my cake turntable. Then I've got a piece of, this is a piece of hard perspex. And I'm just checking with my fingers just to make sure that the perspex is roughly in the middle of the, um, of the, ta the turntable. And then canvas with push pins in the back. I've checked that the canvas is level on a level surface. It doesn't matter if it's not level on here at the moment, um, because as soon as this is done, I will take this off here, put it in my drying rack, which is level. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is just cover the base in the purple color. I spent quite a long time blowing that paint around them because I don't want much paint on here. I want it to be as thin a layer as possible. So just catching the edges. There's just a couple of little bits of bare canvas. So I'm just dabbing those so I know all the edges are covered. It's great on a turntable. I don't have to reach across my painting. It's lovely. Right, so I'm going to start putting the colours down. So I'm going to put them down in a spiral, in a rough spiral. So I first of all just got that dark, that lovely dark purple that I made. I made from the scraped off paint. Now I want to try and not get too much paint on my canvas because I've, when I've done this before and I've got too much paint, it, um, it's, it hasn't really worked. Right, let's go for some of the magenta. Right, I think that's all my colours. 
Right, let's see what happens. So to blow this out, I'm standing on a step so that I'm up high. I'm going to hold my hairdryer in the centre. And then as I spin this, just putting the, the wire over my shoulder so I don't get it in the paint. Um, as I spin it, I'm just going to slowly pull my hairdryer outwards. I'm just wondering if I should do anything with these corners first because I found the corners didn't work as well in the last painting. No, I'm going to leave them. Right, wish me luck. a bit but I don't know how I'm going to sort that out but these colours are gorgeous yeah I missed it here I don't know how that happened perfect amount of paint on here right how do I sort that out do I just blow on it again with the hairdryer by mouth It has muddied it a little bit, but I don't think too much. The only bit I don't like is here, though. This corner. I'm so, so excited by this painting. It's worked. Um, I had to tweak it. Um, there was a bit that I wasn't happy with. I can't even remember which bit that was now, which is brilliant. Um, I've done a little bit of extra blowing around just to get a better composition. But it's just really, I don't know, it's really a kind of moody. Oh, I love it. It just it's just so intense and so bright and so rich um let me show you up close it's the magenta that has popped through to create all the cells and i'm amazed because normally it's the iridescent colors and the magenta isn't iridescent um i think it really works having lots of colors of a similar tone a similar sort of shirt color because when they do blend together and they do muddy it doesn't really matter because there's definitely some muddier areas like here for example but it makes it just look like another color that, I, uh, that I've used so really happy with that my last one I had lots of really contrasting colors so the muddiness was definitely a more browny color 
um, that bronze there, that really looks beautiful. Really happy with that. But I am just blown away by the magenta cells. Look in the centre. They're just amazing. I dragged my finger through in the centre. I just wanted a slightly more um, obvious centre. Um, I'm so excited. I just hope it dries well. I've got definitely got the right amount of paint on here because I can't see it moving. When I've done it before, I've had such ridges of paint, I could see it closing in. Uh, I'm not seeing that, so I will be back when it's dry. So here it is dry. This has to be, I think, one of my new favourite paintings. I love it. Um, as you might know if you've watched my previous videos, I don't like a lot of plain white negative space. So to have an entire canvas jam-packed with details and colour, I, I, it's just me. I just, I, I absolutely love that. Um, I'm really happy with these corners because I made sure I put the colour on the corners. The last square one that I did had just plain white corners because like the colour mist. So really, really happy with that. Um, let's show you, let's go in the centre to start with. Um, I just love the combination of the cells and the lines, but the fact that the lines are round, curly lines. Um, the colours blend beautifully. The bronze, I love, absolutely love the bronze peeking through because it just breaks it up. So otherwise you've just got very pinky purpley colours, but then just to have that splash of bronze um, it just it just brightens the whole thing up. I'll show you in a second how shiny it is as well, how iridescent it is. Um, just such beautiful and interesting cells. I love the colours and I really like that. See there, the, the bit of dark purple. I really love that dark purple. Um, let me show you how this bronze, oh look, you can see it already. Look at that. So pretty. So it just, it glows. It's just so bright. And it just, it just lights up. So I am so, so happy. I'm wondering about going bigger still. What do you think? And also I'm wondering about a rectangular canvas. Not sure if it would work as well. I think I like the symmetry of the square canvas. Um, let me know what you think. What shall I do next? Um, great. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please do hit the thumbs up button. Um, leave me any comments you want to, um, any thoughts you want to. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.